So this is this is built when things were proper built, wasn't it? Built when men were men. <laughs> if you've been paying attention, you'll heard me talk about the Eckhold stuff and how I covet it, and how many other people do as well. So this week, I'm a little bit like a dog with two bones, <laughs> because I did an eBay find. I got an Eckhold hand former, but not just any Eckhold hand former. It's a really early one, 1952, and it's actually Fokker Eckhold, which is Dutch, which is the Fokker airplane people. So, you know, if you remember from your airfix kits, the Red Baron, we well, flew a Fokker triplane. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm chuffed with that. So we're going to give it a little bit of a sort out, see what we've bought, see if we can sort it out and, you know, um, give it a spruce up on what to do. But you can see this, this sort of military dull paint on here. That's its original paint. And that sort of ties in with the aircraft industry and so on. So, yeah, apparently the Fokker Aircraft Company wanted to get involved in building tooling. So they, they did a deal with Eckhold and that's how it came about. But I don't know the full history. That's just, you know, I didn't even know about this until I looked it up this week. But what's intriguing is how it's been overpainted. So we've, we've got this sort of green colour here. You see this sort of green? And then it's gone to this blue. So we've got a lot of this green further down, you see, on the, on the stand. We've got that lovely light bluey green colour. Which, funny enough, we've got some of that on my Edwards English wheel. So if we, if we walk over to the English wheel and have a quick look at this, you can see we've got, I reckon that's the same colour. Now obviously it's got this horrible stuff on top of it, but that's an older colour. Now I don't know if that's original to the Edwards or if that's an overpaint as well. But what would happen back in the day is a lot of coach builders would um, have a signature colour and all their machine would be that colour, much like with factories and other places as well. But yeah, so it makes me wonder if that was a particular coach builder's colour, you know, or, or aircraft manufacturer or whatever. So, you know, if anyone knows, let me know. <laughs> be quite cool to know about that, wouldn't it? Anyway, let's look at the job in hand. Yeah, 1954. Did I say 52 earlier? Aging it more. Well, there you go, it's 70 years old, so it's, it's, you know, it's a fair vintage, isn't it? Now, I've never actually seen one of these plates on an Eckhold before, so I thought that's quite exciting. I was pleased with that. Well, first job is we've got a problem with it not returning. So you have a set of springs in here, and I reckon they've gone. So in light of that, I've been on to the chaps. You can still buy everything for these. So yeah, Echo UK sent me out some springs. They weren't inexpensive for some springs, but it's good gear and that's what it is. So I guess what we got is, we'll have a look, won't we? Yeah, some in the Echo packet, and then we got sort of a couple of springs and some retainers and so on. So let's get it apart and see what we're dealing with. First thing we get, it, get it off the base, which is just these hand wheels here. But these are nice because these are all cast. They're in lovely, lovely condition. So I think later ones, they're probably going to be plastic things and break, aren't they? So this is, this is built when things were proper built, wasn't it? Built when men were men. <laughs> so these are fabricated. So this is, this is obviously a plate. So we can undo this lot, see what we got, I think. Oh, right, okay. You've got one spring there. I wonder if that's uh, what's going on with it. Okay, we should have some spaces here. We could do with cleaning all this up, couldn't we? Um, so you can see how it operates now. This will be useful, won't it? See, see, it's on these cams. So as these cams turn round, see it pushes them together. So it's as simple as that. It's quite a simple tool. Yeah, look, that looks like it's been, yeah, look, that's been hitting there. So someone's been overreaching this. Now that's either because this cam's worn or because these are really worn. So something's going on, but we could fix that, can we? Put some washers under it. I mean, these are worn. You, you're buying new jaws. You know, I will be buying yours, but that's, um, that ain't going to be this week because they're very expensive. £1,000 for a set of jaws. So, you know, they do them. 
but as I say, that ain't, that ain't this week's problem, is it? Right, more spaces. Yeah, all this can be cleaned up. I think these can be cleaned up and old, can't they? That'll make things a bit better, won't it? And that rivet doesn't seem to be quite, you know, that doesn't seem to be right there. We'll have to have a look at that in a minute. But for now, let's just get this apart and see what goes on this spring thing. So yeah, let's get this off part. Yeah, that's out. Right, let's see what they supply in the kit. I wonder what's going on here then. So what have we got? We've got two screws. We've got some serrated washers. They seem to be a different size to those, don't they? Oh no, they'll fit. Well, that'll work. That'll work. I guess that's what it does. And where would they go? Yeah, I guess that. Yeah, it looks. Could go that way, I guess. Probably that way, aren't they? Because yeah, that's how it becomes a lock, doesn't it? Must be that way up. That's those. These must go on there, mustn't they? And these must be retained by them somehow. Um, those springs are going to go there, aren't they? These have got to come out. Oh, they're loose. Yeah, I reckon they've changed this design. As long as I can see no witness marks of anything on there from another old spring. Let's see. Nope. Oh. Maybe. Oh, it is. It's going to work. Okay. Well, that'll do that. So that's those. These look like they need to clean up, don't they? And say so that one's out of line there, isn't it? We're going to need to push that through a bit, aren't we? That's a bit tight, that one. I'll get some vice grips on that. And that'll go like that, don't you? Maybe we'll put that one first. Now, if they go there, is that going to be a bit... How much room have we got? Because we've got a bit of room down the sides because we've got that shim there, haven't we? So it's, they either go there or they go like that, don't they? What do you reckon? I reckon they go that way. Well, let's try them that way. I mean, it can't be that far out, can it? Well, I thought it would be about right. Well, if we do them like that, then we know they won't be rubbing, and we can always change them later on. I'm going to try them like this to begin with. But I reckon we'll probably go the other way on them, because that I don't think this will pull so straight, will it? Um, Let's have a think about it. If we were to do these like that. So, what we're trying to do is pull that together, isn't it? Would it make much difference? I don't think it'll make a lot of difference doing it like that. We'll try it like this, and then we can always go back. Now, that's pushed out, isn't it? So what we want to do is get that back in, don't we? So we'll just, just put that on the arbor quickly, push that back. And these want pushing out and cleaning out. But for the purpose, I'm just trying to see if this will return. So we're just trying to have a little um, sort out, aren't we? So I'm not entirely sure this is how you fit them or if they would be side by side parallel. But let's try it like this to begin with. Because this way they're not going to interfere with the body of the machine, are they? Um, I might have to find a short one of these. Quite a lot of spring tension. I reckon they might work. So I reckon it's had this in it from, from factory. 
I reckon that that looks to me like it's the you know, it could have been made, but I reckon it's the thing. See if if they go that way round, it won't won't mark the body, will it? If it was sitting outboard, I'm sure it would have left a witness mark on here, wouldn't it? Which it hasn't. So I reckon that's all right. So let's let's put it back together quickly and see what we got. So on these you've got an upper and a lower, then you can tell because you've got oilers, you see, so there's an oiler there and there's an oiler there. And they're only on, you see, you know, because of gravity, if you imagine. You can see that goes through that oiler down there, you know, it goes through onto the shaft. So that's that. would do so we'll just start these on the back of it now somehow I've got this onto there get this apart haven't I push that apart to allow that to pop into there which is not going to be easy is it I need to find some way of spreading that I've got a tool that might do that anyone recognize that it's for doing your old Volkswagen uh, downpipes on the golfs back in the day It, isn't it? Now all this is going to come apart and have a good clean and a proper oil up but this is just proof of concept to see if these are going to do what I want it to do those springs and as so I might have to do a bit more research have a look on the manual because these the manuals available online for these so I'll have a look on the manual see where they how they line up them springs because it might be that's not how you do them it might be there's a different way of doing it but certainly do for now on it now, I'm not whacking it up tight at this time I'm just doing it loosely Right. Well, it's not springing back on its own, but it's having a good go at it. It's better than it was, isn't it? I think we need a bit of oil on things, but it's, you know, before it wouldn't, I don't know if it's supposed to return on its own fully, but it certainly wouldn't stay where it put before, would it? I'll just run a bit of metal through it, see, see, test it, see how it's working. Get a little bit of alley, put a bend, put a fold in it, and then we can see what it does, can't we? Have a go at it, see how well it works. So we're shrinking this edge, which will allow this to turn up, won't it? I think these jaws are very, very warm. And it's done now that I'm actually standing on a rocky bit of ground.
There we are. So we've got proper echo shrinker marks that we'd expect to see. And we've come off straight, haven't we? We've now got a nice curve in it. We're now following the fuselage or our airframe, aren't we? Or whatever we're trying to do. So I'll get a ruler put out against that, show how, how much curve it's got on it. So there we go. So just a few, you know, a few seconds in there, and we've got plenty of shape in it, haven't we? So proof of concept, those springs are gonna help. I think we need to clean it up a bit more, and I think new jaws are in order, aren't they, to, to finalize it. But yeah, that works, doesn't it? Well, you tune in next week, perhaps I'll make something with it proper. That's enough of that. Good night.